don't know. Okay. Pause, pause. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to Team Keeping It Real's April cooking extravaganza party, demo, whatever you want to call it. It will be epic. This is my shirt from conference. I'm Lisa Buskey. Um, but I want you to meet the rest of my team. Take it away, girls. Hi, my name is Jackie Mahoney, and I have been an Epicure ambassador for almost two years now. Um, I joined for the discount, but love the quick, easy options and that the business works with my schedule. Go ahead, my name, is, my name is Tracy Sitko Farney, and I live in New Bremen, and um, I joined because everything is gluten-free, and my son is on a gluten-free diet, and it's really important to keep um, my family's dinners gluten-free. So um, not only can we eat gluten-free, but we also have all these delicious options available to us. So that's why I joined. And then back to me, I joined because my daughter is gluten sensitive. I stay because I love everything I taste <laughs> and you don't have to be gluten-free to really enjoy Epicure. That's really the beauty of it. Um, we can tell you how clean and beautiful and healthy the seasonings are, but in all honesty, it tastes good. And with the steamers, I can make dinner in 20 minutes. Hello. That's a winter, winter chicken dinner for me. So that's why I stay. <clears throat> but tonight we are going to be using the honey garlic meatball. And we're going to be showing you two different ways to make honey garlic meatball. I am going to be making a strawberry margarita milkshake uh, and um some monster balls for dessert slash after workout blah 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 but to get us started jackie's gonna start and show you how she's gonna use the honey garlic meatball seasoning and then she'll pop that ball right over to tracy and when they want me they're just gonna call me in otherwise i'm gonna <laughs> sit here and watch these two rock stars Okay, so tonight, one of the things I love about Epicure is the versatility and the multiple ways to use it. The seasoning packet always comes with a recipe on the back. Simple, easy way to make dinner, but there's so many other ways to use the product. So instead of making meatballs with the honey garlic meatballs, I like to do it as a stir fry. Stir fry is one of my family's favorites because it uses up the vegetables in the fridge. It's quick. It's easy. And we're always on the run. So to go with my stir fry, I'm going to do some rice. I'm going to use the multi-purpose steamer. Comes with the lid and this beautiful tray. Great for making bacon. Rice is an easy recipe. It's two to one ratio. I want to do a little bit of extra rice to have for other meals this week. So I'm going to do two cups of rice with four cups of water. And this is our multi-purpose pot, which I absolutely love because the measurements are on the inside. Easy to know how much you have. Quick, easy measurement, ready to go. That's simple for rice. I like to kick it up a notch. I add nourish broth. So for this ratio, I add one tablespoon of nourish broth. And I love that our four in one spoon fits in all of our glass jars makes it simple and easy. Always want to give it a stir so the seasoning gets in. With the rice, we're going to throw the tray on upside down to hold the rice down in the water and to keep it from boiling over. You don't need the cover. Every microwave varies. Could be 16 to 18 minutes depending on what your microwave's wattage is. For mine, it's about 18 minutes. So just throw that in the microwave and start my walk. So this is Epicure's walk. This is the biggest reason people have parties is to get this for their free or half price. 
It's a wonderful glass lid, nonstick pan, nice heavy wall. If you always want to heat your pan first before you add your protein. And I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of just a simple olive oil as a base. And I've got cut up chicken, two breasts I've done in bite-sized pieces. And this is what I do. I add one tablespoon of the honey garlic meatballs, little heaping. What is that amazing bowl you're using? So this is the four cup prep bowl. Comes with a silicone lid, super easy to use. Nice glass, simple and easy. What I do is I added a tablespoon of the honey garlic meatball seasoning to my chicken and I just coat it around. If you like a crispier chicken with your stir fry, you can add in a tablespoon of corn, corn meal. That'll give it a little bit of a texture, more like a coating. I don't like to do that for myself. I'm trying to cut calories, trying to watch what I'm eating, but the seasoning just gives it enough. Stir fries are super easy and simple any protein, any vegetables, you mix them together, you get a great meal. I did two full breasts, it's about two pounds. Um, this is a four cup prep bowl, so it's a little over two cups. And then I cleaned out my fridge, I had a pepper, I had cauliflower, I had some snap peas. Cleaned them up, made them bite size, simple and easy. What I do is once my pan is hot, I add my chicken, I let it sit three minutes, flip it over three minutes till it's brown, add the vegetables, give it another five minutes, and then add my sauce. So what I'm going to do is throw in my chicken. Nice hot pan. Spread them out so that they're all getting some nice color. And then I leave it alone. If you want a nice caramelization on your chicken, you want to leave it set, don't touch it till it's got that nice caramelization. Then we will bring it back, throw the vegetables in, and then add the sauce later. So go ahead, Tracy, you can start yours. Okay, so I'm going to be making the honey garlic meatballs, but when I'm making them, I'm going to just follow the the recipe, just like Jackie said, it's right on the back of the package. The nice thing about the back of the package too is just at a at a quick glance, you can tell um, what you're gonna need for ingredients. So when you take a look at this, it tells you what, that you're gonna need the seasoning, a pound of lean ground beef, um, some water and some honey. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rip open the package. I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my four and one spice spoon and all I need is to reach in here and I'm gonna to add to my ground beef, just two tablespoons of the seasoning. The rest of the seasoning, I'm just gonna set aside for later. So I'm gonna mix up the seasoning with, with my, my ground beef. And I just want to get it incorporated in there really well because these are going to be the meatballs that I'm going to be using. So I want to make sure that every bite's going to have that honey garlic flavoring in there. Now, the nice thing we were talking about earlier is that you can make dinner in less than 20 minutes, raw to ready in 20 minutes, which is fantastic because right now in my household, it's baseball season. My son plays baseball and actually he and my husband are at a game right now. So when they come home tonight, they'll have dinner ready. They'll be excited because this is one of their very favorites. So they're, they're gonna be excited that uh, honey garlic meatballs are on the menu tonight. So once I get this all mixed up and incorporated, I'm gonna take 
my two tablespoon scoop. And I'm also going to be using my multi-purpose steamer, but I'm going to leave my rack right inside. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop out about two tablespoons and I'm gonna put it right into my steamer, right on the rack. Now, if you want your meatballs to look perfect, you can put them in your hand, you can roll them a little bit. I'm not gonna be looking for perfection tonight. I'm just looking to have dinner on the table by the time my family gets home. So I'm gonna go through, and this is probably gonna make about 16 of these little meatballs. So I'll put all my meatballs in here right on my little tray inside my multi-purpose steamer. And then I'm just gonna put them in the microwave for about four minutes is what the back of the package says. The nice thing about this rack is that it's gonna keep the meatballs up and out of the fat that's gonna drain off from this meat. And I will do a couple different because these are probably a little bit bigger than two tablespoons, but I will do a couple different groups of these, but I'll just pop the top of my steamer right on top. And then I'm gonna go put these in the microwave for about four minutes and they'll be done and they'll be ready for the sauce. So Jackie, back to you. Sorry about that. Um, my chicken is about ready. It's done three minutes per side. It's got a beautiful golden color on it. This is when I throw in my vegetables. And like I said, I love stir fry because it's anything and everything goes. So like I said, I had part of a pepper. I had part of a head of cauliflower. I had some seeds and we're gonna put the cover on because the seam that the wok creates will keep the vegetables bright and crisp and keep all the nutrients in. I did throw my seasoning in with three quarters of a cup of water and a little bit of honey, but I want my vegetables to cook some before I add that. So I'm going to give it back to Lisa unless Tracy is ready. Actually, I can just go right ahead and show you how to make the sauce. So I've taken the rest of my seasoning and just like Jackie, I'm using my wok too. Um, I put the seasoning into the wok. I'm gonna use three quarters of a cup of water. And I'm using my little one cup prep bowl because it's got nice little measurements on the side that can tell you where you need to put your water or whatever else you're going to use. And then I'm gonna need some honey. And all I need is one tablespoon of honey. So again, I can use my, my same my same four. I don't wanna get honey all over the place, but I'm gonna get honey all over the place. Um, my four and one spice spoon. I'm just gonna turn on my turn on my heat, and I'm just gonna mix this up. And I'm gonna use my four and one spice spoon to do it because I want to get the rest of that honey off the four and one spice spoon. And as this gets mixed together, it's gonna it's going to get a little bit thicker and it's gonna to start to smell really good. It tastes fantastic, but this is gonna be all mixed up and nice and ready to go so that when my meatballs are done in the microwave, I can just put them right in the sauce and mix them in. And then I'll be able to make more meatballs, add them. And then that's pretty much it. The meatballs will be done and ready to go for my family to eat when they get back from the baseball game. So I'll be able to show you that sauce in just a little bit, but I'll go ahead and let Lisa take it over from here. All right, so the girls are both using honey, making the honey garlic meatballs, but life is short. So I always say you start with dessert first. 
They're eating these delicious, healthy dinners. One seasoning packet, two recipes. I'm gonna show you how to take that honey, make something a little sweeter. I do love both of these meals. We make them at our house, but hello, let's talk sweets. So what we're gonna be making are monster cookie protein balls, and they are so good. These ones are my favorite. And this graphic will be in our VIP groups within the next 24 to 48 hours. I'm not gonna tell you right after the show because there's no pressure. We are team keeping it real and we just roll with it all. So first up, I am also using my one cup prep bowls. I've measured out all of my ingredients. We need two cups of oats. Okay, two cups of our oats. Just gonna set those over here. All right, one cup of natural peanut butter. And I have an almond peanut butter. And I use the PB2 and make my own peanut butter as I need it. So one cup of that. And I'm using the corner spatula. Our utensils are all that cooking grade silicone and they are really the bomb diggity, I think. Half a cup of honey, which I also have measured out. And of course, you know, they're making these delicious burgers and stir fries. I was very excited that I got to do dessert because, you know, life is short, start with dessert. So we're gonna mix this up. All right, I'm gonna get that started. And then this is where it takes these no-bake cookie snacks to the next level, okay? So I've got them all mixed around. <clears throat> I'm gonna use my Epicure Caramel Protein Powder. You, we have also have vanilla and chocolate. But we have caramel this new season, and it is so good. One of my newest addictions is a caramel protein smoothie in the morning, and you add, it says um, like a latte. I, I use my leftover coffee. Oh my gosh, so good. <clears throat> um, all right, so you take your two scoops and you can use either flavor, your chocolate, vanilla, but hello, there's salted caramel, so why are you not using salted caramel? And then it called for half a bag of mini chocolate chips and half a bag of M&Ms. I always just use a whole bag of chocolate M&Ms. See, those girls are showing you all the healthy options. I just want you to know that it is possible to use Epicure and still be a little naughty. That's what I'm talking about. <sighs> and if, it, if you don't know me, this is like so up my alley, being a little naughty. Are either one of you girls ready for the camera or you want me to keep going? <clears throat> All you have to do is interrupt me. All right. Um, I can just quickly show my sauces come together so I can kind of okay. show that quickly and I've got, got some meatballs already. So um so just very quickly I want to show you the difference in the sauce. Um, it's really thick, nice and brown, smells delicious. So it's ready for some meatballs and I just happen to have some meatballs that are ready to go. So I'm going to use my my silicone grippers and I'm just going to grab those and I'm going to throw those right into the sauce. And again, they're not pretty, but they're going to be delicious. And then my multi-purpose steamer is going to be ready for the next set of meatballs that I'm going to throw in four minutes, four minutes in the microwave and you've got meatballs. It's crazy. So then I can just mix my meatballs into the sauce, get them covered, 
And then I'm gonna take that nice glass top because I've got all this beautiful steam coming through. And it's gonna keep those meatballs moist and ready, ready for dinner. So I I'm gonna throw some more meatballs in my multi-purpose steamer and we'll go back to you, Lisa. Oh, I'm gonna butt in. Oh. I added sauce. I thickened it down. My stir fry is ready to go. My rice needs two more minutes. So I'm gonna set it back on the stove just to keep it warm. Keep the cover it's on. It's been 19 minutes, Jackie. I know. Normally I can have it 20 minutes exact. I put a little extra time in my steamer because I added a little extra rice. So it's going to be quick and easy. That's what I love about Epicure. The versatility of it. You can take any packet, find 10 recipes, different ways to use the products. If your family doesn't like vegetables, you could just do the meat. I have fussy eaters. This is one that they will eat. Just the chicken. The vegetables are for me. <laughs> But what I love is if the recipe calls for something you don't like, substitute what you do and what your family will do. If you've got a big family, double your protein. If you've got a small family, use half the bag. It's that simple. The versatility of it and using what you won't have in your fridge, in your garden, in your freezer is really what makes this amazing. It really is. What are you doing? <laughs> I have just mixed up our monster cookie protein balls and I use the salt of caramel. And again, I'm using our scoop, okay? And then what I do is I put them on my Epicure sheet pan with the liner. I cover them with saran wrap and then I freeze them overnight. And then once they're frozen, I put them into glass containers so that I can just grab them when I need them. But you do not have to freeze them. You can actually um, put them right into the refrigerator and they'll last a couple of weeks. But I typically put mine in the freezer just because that's what I do and I guess I'm quirky, but quirky is good on some levels. So when they're talking, I'm gonna keep doing, scooping my protein balls, but I wanna show you is at the scoop that they're giving away now free with an order of $60? It is. That's the one, the very same one. So these are ready to eat. They're super yummy. I have no space. Um, so what I want to show you next is one of our new flavors is a strawberry margarita. But I've had people say, I don't drink. Hello, not good for me. Baloney. Now you can have a strawberry milkshake. So watch this. You get your mixer. You can use the smaller one. Some strawberries. Again, measured in my one cup prep bowl. Milk. And this recipe is right online in our website. Um, and we'll be sharing it with you later. Vanilla Greek yogurt. A tablespoon of the margarita seasoning. Or more. Yeah, I'm not good with measuring. And of course, the thing we all want. So just so you know, they're all having burgers and healthy rice for dinner and stir fry. We're having milkshakes. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Oh. So then a half a cup of ice cream. Cream, cream, ice cream. I took it out beforehand, just so you know so that it would soften enough and then I put it back in the freezer so it looks like I have like the perfect ice cream. It's one of those tricks when you're going live. All right. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Sorry, girls, my dinner's way better. All right, I'm gonna put the top on and I'm gonna put this in the blender. Are one of you ready to 
I take am. over for a bit so that they don't have to listen to my blender get crazy. I am ready. So my end is all done. My rice is finished. You can see the water is gone. You just take out the tray and the rice is beautiful, golden from the nourish broth. My stir fry is beautiful cups of colors with the sauce thickened up around it. And what I'm going to show you is our perfect portion scoops for the fat for our carb, which is our rice. So our rice is there. And then this is the protein and two for the vegetable. Because I did my stir fry in a one to two ratio with protein and my vegetables, it's three scoops for my meal. So that is my perfect portion, balanced plate, ready to go. I love this recipe. I love this combination. This is my quick and easy, very filling meal that is helping me find my balance. So thank you. And Tracy, if you want to go to yours. Sure thing. I actually just took out my second round of meatballs. So I'm just going to put those in the pan and mix those up. And then I honestly have decided to let my family decide whether they want to have um, noodles or rice. When they get home, they can make that decision. And then we will be having dinner again after the baseball game. But the nice thing again about, about this multi-purpose steamer is that when you take the tray out, all your fat is down in the bottom of the multi-purpose steamer. So that's just one way that you can save some, some of the fat and the calories from the bottom of your steamer from going into your body or going into your pan. So, um, so here are, again, <laughs> they're not the most beautiful things in the world, but, um, but they are gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna just mix up the meatballs. And even though, even though I didn't have to put any garlic in it, you can see the garlic in the pan. Um, you can smell the honey, you can smell the garlic. It smells so good. And it's really gonna be hard for me to wait until my family gets home. Um, maybe I won't, <laughs> maybe I'll eat a few and then just tell them that there were less in the pan than, than what, you know, than what there really are. Um, but this is um, the honey garlic meatball if you follow the recipe on the back of the package. And the nice thing with the steamer is even if you make them ahead, you can always throw them in the steamer and reheat them quickly for your family. You've got some that come early and some that come late. That's the nice part. I like mine because I portion out the leftovers for my lunch for the week. Makes it simple and easy to grab and go. And like I said, you can customize any of the recipes to what your family likes. You don't have to use beef. You could use benzin. You could use chicken. You can use turkey. You can use pork. Whatever you like in your meatballs, whatever you like is your protein. This seasoning sauce is great on everything. I've done pork chops, the chicken, stir fries. It doesn't matter. The flavor is amazing. Yes, I would agree with you on that. I, it's like I said, it's one of my family's favorites. Um, it's one of the things that um, when I place an order for myself, it's one of the things that I make sure that is always in my cart. So. Wish you were local, Lisa, so you can <laughs> share. Now, I have to tell you, I have not made <clears throat> this strawberry margarita milkshake. I have made the margarita and that's as good. Um, but this is one you could have, you know, and go to work. <laughs> and tomorrow when it's 80 out, this will be a delicious treat to come home. It is so good. I think I almost like it better as a strawberry um, milkshake than as a margarita. Mm. Oh, I'm supposed to be talking. Sorry. See, you give me dessert and I am gone. <laughs> 
one thing we're I just want to share something with all of you our specials and whatnot this is our round steamer so while I'm chatterboxing I have one cup of popcorn I'm putting it in the steamer there's no oil no butter there's nothing in there but if you're feeling naughty are you noticing my my team they're so healthy they got all their stuff together and then there's me let me take you to the dark side okay <clears throat> the dark side of epicure so i have my lid you take your butter all right you want your butter to be a little harder all right and you're going to stick the butter inside the lid tracy's just smiling She's just going, yep, here she goes. All right. All right, so you got your butter inside your lid. All right. You stick it on. Now you're gonna put it in the microwave. Our microwave is about four and a half minutes. I'm just hitting the five button because we're gonna talk. I don't put butter on mine. But somebody I live with likes his to like swim, okay? <clears throat> And as much butter as that looked, I guarantee you it's still not enough for that man. Um, <clears throat> so, well, my popcorn is in, it's better than an air fryer, I have to tell you. So you can use the steamer to make rice like Jackie did. You can use the steamer to cook your, your protein, your meat like Tracy did. You can use your steamer to make popcorn and make a treat. Are you noticing the theme? healthy team, you know, ah, no, we all get along. <clears throat> this is just, I got lucky and got to make dessert. But for those of you watching, Epicure does have a fundraising program. That is something your organization can earn 40%, reach out to your consultant. And our Epic Box, our Epic Box is evolving. It is $32 a month. It used to be seven dinners, a dip, and a mystery item. Um, they're switching it up. There's still going to be seven items, but this month we got jarred jalapeno seasoning, the burger seasoning, which is mind blowing. Like it's double the value of a seasoning packet. So that was like stellar. You can sign up for three months, six months, or 12 months. I tell everyone sign up for 12 because at six months, you get a $20 product voucher. And at 12 months, you get the 12 month free. And, and you can cancel any time. So why wouldn't you do it? Because most of my people that signed up for three ended up signing up and extending because they loved it so much. <clears throat> um, our business kit, there's two options for the business kit this month. You can purchase our full business kit for $99. Um, and that comes with all the goodies in there and it's valued at over $250. Or you can join for $49.50 and it's a virtual membership, but it will give you everything that you need minus the tools. But if you already have them in your cupboard, you don't need them. Where do you start? Taste the season collection. It gives you a snippet of some of our new items that are available. And when you order $60 or more, you can choose between the citrus press or the scoop. All right. And now host a party. If you host and close a party, use your host rewards in April. You can choose between our amazing charcuterie board, which I have one behind the camera. I'll grab it. Or the French press. Oh, I bet Jackie's beating me to it. This don't you, I love this charcuterie board. Ladies, do you love, oh, and there's the French press. Ah! And you probably think we planned this, but we really don't. We are team keeping it real. Other teams probably like stressed on this. They had multiple meetings. They knew what was happening. It was literally what, 15 minutes before we went live. All right, who's going first? All right, who's it popping to? Who am I popping to? What are we doing? And you know what? We just have fun at Team Keeping It Real. We have fun. This is not about stress to any of us. We do this because we love the food. We love what we do. Um, but host in May, this one I really want. Do either one of you girls really want um, the May host exclusive? It's a two cup freezer cube tray and a one cup freezer cube tray. 
And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, these would be perfect to like make the breads and that kind of stuff and put them right in and then you could freeze them, pop them out. I'm excited for that. Um, so those are the specials. And we'd love to have you on team keeping it real. I'm, when we say we're very relaxed and have fun, we really are. Um, if you're like the person that needs somebody to tell you, do this, do this, do this. Um, all right, you need to do this and you'll succeed. Don't join our team. <laughs> um, not that we don't love you. Or, I mean, join our team. Maybe you're good for us because we're all kind of like, oh, we can do that. Yeah, let's just throw that together. Um, and it works for us. We're just, don't get me wrong. I'm a little OCD touch. I'm very color coordinated, organized, okay? But as far as strat, like driving my team, I steer where we want to go. And we really are a team, don't you think? Yeah. I am, I am the team leader, but I lead with my team. So what I, what I love about it is you never pressure us to do more than what we want to do. If we want to do more, you give us the tool to find out different ways, different tools to do what we want to do. But um, life gets crazy. We're all at different stages of our lives. And what I love about Epicure is if I want to push hard and do eight parts a month, I can. If I'm having surgery and life is chaos, baseball's going on, and I'm down to one party, that's okay too. If I don't have time to do anything, they give me some grace. It works with my schedule. I don't do this full time. I have a full time job. We have a small farm. My son is into sports. It gives me the flexibility to do extra, to do extra for my family. Plus, we are eating healthier, quicker meals, more time with my family. So that's what I love about Epicure and I love about team keeping it real. Yeah, I, I really strive never to pressure anybody, but I will help you. Anybody that wants to work this as a business like I am, I, I work full time. I'm a teaching assistant for pre-K all day. I love my job. I don't plan on retiring. I still got nine and a half years left, but I love Epicure. This is my fun money and I can win trips. I can win um, cash prizes. I can win tra free travel. Like right now we're doing run for the sun and we could all possibly earn our airfare in an all expense paid cruise. Hello, sign me up. My husband has no interest in a cruise and I could wear a bikini because nobody's gonna be there that will ever see me again. So I'm running. Um, and then before I pass it to Tracy, so here's my round steamer. Mm -hmm. And that was five minutes exactly in my microwave. And check out my popcorn. And my husband will tell you there's not enough butter. Oh, there's enough butter. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Um, it's not terrible. I, I say that because I, I eat mine with nothing on it. My husband will love this. And you can even use some of our toppings. Cheesy fries, where are you? You can actually take our cheesy fries or our Cajun fry seasoning and sprinkle it on your popcorn to add flavor to it. Uh, oh, any last words, Tracy or Jackie? No, I think... The only last words I have are that um, if you haven't tried Epicure, you definitely need to. Um, book a party, reach out to one of us. Um, you'll love what you try. Yeah. And like I said, the versatility um, with your popcorn, I want to try the kick and jalapeno. I think that would be awesome. I do not. <laughs> um, the kick and jalapeno on day one, my husband said, oh, it wasn't that hot. It sat for three days while we froze it and then thawed it down the road. Oh my gosh, I couldn't even eat flipping dinner last night. It was so spicy. So if you like heat, let your jalapeno burger just sit a little bit and really marinate in it. And you'll be in your heaven like my friend Jackie. Um, if you're me, um, only eat it that very first day in the 
first 20 minutes you make it because anytime after that you're gonna be <laughs> but we want to say thank you for joining us today we appreciate you all so much and reach out to whatever consultant invited you to the party and if you're catching this um on youtube because i'll try to upload this to youtube reach out if you're not connected to any of us reach out to whoever spoke to you we're all the three of us are very kindred spirits though i'm just going to warn you um <clears throat> so but thank you so much for joining we are glad you are here and um with that i'm going to turn off the recording do, 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 do. maybe more